my name is Amy Valdez Barker. I am the project manager for the Vital Congregations Initiative of the United Methodist Church. I am here today with Susan Deliosun, who is a deaconess at um, Capital Cap United Capital Capital United Methodist Church, right? Yeah, in Puerto Princesa. In City. Puerto Princesa City. Tell me, um, Susan, what is a vital congregation in your mind um, here in the Philippines? Vital congregation for me is a, it is a church that reach out, that go mission, go to mission areas, and uh, that's all. That, mm -hmm. Yeah, that goes out oh, and goes uh, out. and yes. helps reach. equip your the people of the church. Yes. To go out into these different areas. Excellent. So tell me a little bit about your congregation there at um, Puerto Princesa. As of uh, as of this year, our congregation is uh, we focus. Uh, uh, our members are um, are in their uh, middle age group. So uh, most of them are employed. Employed. So uh, uh, that's that's the nature of our congregation. Okay. Yes. And so what what does your congregation do to help? them live out of their discipleship uh, we, sh we usually go to small uh, small churches mm -hmm. and every Sunday afternoon mm -hmm. and then that's the that's the mission work that we are doing mm -hmm. uh, we reach out those uh, churches who can't go to the city and who do, don't have a pastor uh, oh. so uh, we go to there every yeah every Sunday two hours from our church Wow yes. so you yeah. go uh -oh. to those different congregations and provide leadership yes in those oh. different congregations yeah. now you have a, been a deaconess for 20 yeah, years I, more than 20 years I've been a wow. deaconess and a pastor's wife yeah Wonderful. so tell me a little bit about the ministry you've been called to as a deaconess as a deaconess I am a kindergarten teacher mm -hmm. and of course I, I do the music ministries in the church mm -hmm. I have a, a values education subject in our school because our church has an element complete elementary preschool and high school oh, that's why uh, the church focused on the the personnel of that school and that's the mission of our church to uh, make those uh, uh, teachers and staff to be members of our church wonderful yeah. mm -hmm. and that's um, that's sort of a service to the community yes. right yeah. and offering kind of a, a education opportunity yeah. for these mm -hmm. children yes we provided a scholarship for children who can't afford to pay uh -huh. uh, the, tuition fees and of course uh, pa uh, pastors kids who are not a uh, member of our church mm -hmm. uh, and uh, teachers who can't uh, who, uh, uh, sons and daughters of our teachers who can't afford to to pay them as we provide scholarships through the congregations yes. excellent excellent and so um, why why do you think people would want to be part of capital UMC you know Yes, because uh, our church is a fast-growing church as of this moment, as of this time, mm -hmm. because of the problems that we encountered. They, uh, we felt they felt the need uh, to go and reach out. So uh, all of our members now are uh, providing providing their. Uh, uh, giving their income to support the the church, mm -hmm. our pastors, uh, mm -hmm. for that uh, particular mission work. So it sounds like um, that you all have been doing some intentional outreach within yes, your community um, yes, um, that are bringing more people in. Mm -hmm. What are talk about some of those the stories in that intentional outreach? Like, can you think of a family or? A person who has come to your congregation and found a need met, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, there are uh, families, or let's say, let's focus on one of the family, a, mm -hmm. a teacher who came and applied to be a teacher of mm -hmm. our school, and then of course they don't have a, a church before to. Uh -huh. to to stay, and then uh, we offer them those uh, the, the scholarships and the programs of our church and then until uh, they saw that they the need of their 
of the church and they become part of that um, after a month uh, the, of attending and participating with our uh, congregation wow. and they they saw that uh, they felt the need of being there mm -hmm. and they themselves decided to be part of our uh, wow. congregation so they felt welcomed yeah. into that community mm -hmm. as part yeah. of us excellent excellent so it sounds like you all do radical hospitality yeah. is that <laughs> that's that's what we are practicing uh, because we need to we need to grow we need, mm -hmm. we need to mm -hmm. make the church uh, mm -hmm. fast growing right mm -hmm. a place that really mm -hmm. is inviting yes. as people come to their relationship with God yeah excellent excellent <clears throat> so is uh, what do you what are your hopes for the future of your congregation as being a vital, healthy congregation? Uh, our hope is that uh, more of uh, some, uh, by next year, we are hoping and praying that most of the members of the council will decide to to really support all our programs of the school. Because some of, uh, there are still at, uh, 20% or 30% who are not really giving their best to support the, mm -hmm. the pastors and mm -hmm. they're not uh, giving their time or that that is our hope that mm -hmm. by the end of this uh, year or early next year uh, they will see the the need because this uh, Christmas we have so many activities that mm -hmm. need that we need that uh, need, we need them at this time so I hope by providing those kinds of programs and activities they really felt the, the need of that time so really empowering the laity yes, to step up and serve mm -hmm. excellent yes. excellent well thank you so much for your time Susan thank you and I will continue to uphold capital UMC in my prayers as a, you as you pursue as your congregation pursues being a healthy and vital congregation yes, in this world thank you, thank you. God bless <laughs>